Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're a first time watcher, glad to have you here. If you're a returning favorite, welcome back. Today we are talking, oh gosh, it's almost Christmas time, and uh, we are talking Bayberry candles and uh, the history of them, um, and basically what they, what their purpose is, um, and uh, you know, uh, tradition, right? So <clears throat> we're not talking holiday bayberry by Yankee Candle. We're not talking snow dusted bayberry. We're not talking bayberry, uh, anything, any other like bayberry scented uh, jars. Um, what we're talking about is we're talking about tapers um, that come come like this. We're talking about bayberry tapers. And I have four different kinds here. I have two that are still readily available today. And I have two that are from my grandmother from like one I want to say is from the late 80s, early 90s, and the other one I want to say is probably 50s, 60s, 70s, just based off the artwork alone. So let's get into it. So, uh, Bayberry candles, right? So, um, some of you folks might not know, but this, this purpose of the video is, is informative here. Um, Bayberry candles, they're made from uh, the Bayberry bushes, Bayberry plants. Um, little berries and this this tradition goes way back to colonial times when uh early settlers were here and the candles that they were using were kind of made from uh, uh animal fat and what would happen is they would go rancid or um they just would not be enjoyable i mean imagine burning a candle made from animal fat in 2018 2019 almost um we have paraffin we have soy we have coconut wax um we have all different kinds of, of wax products available to us, um, but certainly not animal fat. Um, it's, not, it's not one of them, thankfully. So what they did was they um, determined that if you were to boil these berries, uh, it emits a, a waxy uh, residue and you can make uh, candles from it. So they did. And the thing about the bayberry uh, berries, per se, is that in order to get one pound of uh, wax product from it, you needed 15 pounds of bayberries. So they were considered a luxury, uh, and only the wealthiest and the richest um, folks uh, could have them. So they rationed them, and what they did was they burned them on special holidays. And those holidays, you know, it, it kind of transformed later later on down the road um, into Christmas is certainly the main holiday uh, for Bayberry candles. Uh, New Year's Eve is another uh, another holiday there, but really they can be burned on any uh, special occasion, um, you know, that that's meaningful uh, to you guys out there. Um, to me, it's Christmas just because my grandmother always had a, a candle burning Christmas Eve, um, <clears throat> a Bayberry candle. Uh, Christmas Eve there. So um, I'm going to show you a little bit of what I have here. Talk a little bit more about how you burn it and, and why, right? Um, why they rationed it, right? Not because they were in high demand, these candles, but there's a, a legend, a tradition, um, if you so, uh, behind it there. So here I have these 10 inch tapers. Gosh, these are so old these are the ones i think are from like the 80s or 90s um there was a price tag of one dollar on the bottom here from spain's um spain's near us was a uh carlton was it hallmark it was here hallmark or carlton cars dealer i forget um i want to say it was hallmark i do want to say it was hallmark but it was just, uh, spain's was a hallmark dealer there um and <laughs> these are made in hong kong so these are just going to probably be sitting uh, here. I don't know. I, I don't know what I'm going to do with them. But they are country holiday candles. Um, I didn't do any research into this brand. But um, like I said, they are made in Hong Kong. So I probably won't burn these. Um, I don't know what the quality was like years ago. Um, and if they meet all the safety standards um, there. <clears throat> and this next one here, this is the one I think was probably from the 50s or 60s. It's good luck, um, Bayberry candles. And these are actually made by candlelight. So if you see that right there, uh, 
candlelight uh, from Ohio, made in the USA there. Uh, candlelight still does make products, um, like mainstays for Walmart. And uh, this also came with a little pamphlet here. And the poem is the important part, so I'll share the poem with you in a little bit. And then, of course, we have Yankee Candle. Yankee Candle makes in there as well. They have a little, the little tradition and whatnot and poem on the back there. And then these are probably my favorite ones. These are made by Mole Hollow, MoleHollowCandles.com there. Um, these are actually scented as well. So these have a nice uh, nice aroma to them there. And they got the wicks you got to cut apart. So these are, you know, they're all legit. But So the tradition is you burn it. I, I usually use my my brass um, candle holders here and uh, the tradition goes bayberry candles burned to the socket bring luck to the house and gold to the pocket so these candles all have a seven hour burn time on them and the tradition is you want to like the poem says you want to burn them to the socket um, <clears throat> we usually host Christmas Eve here so we start ours early um, and we always put, you know, uh, aluminum foil under everything there. And of course, always under, under supervision there. So they, they don't take, uh, they don't take too long. Um, you gotta drink the water here. Flavored water. They don't, uh, they don't take too long to, um, to burn down, which, which is good. You don't want to have a candle burning overnight, um, if you don't have to. But, um, yeah, we will, we'll burn it, um, under supervision, of course, supervised at all times there. So this is just a tradition uh, that's very meaningful to me. I know a lot of folks don't necessarily know the tradition. Um, we have given as Christmas gifts in the past, um, Bayberry candles, uh, the people that burn Christmas Eve or uh, New Year's Eve there. I, I know they kind of started their own tradition there. Um, the, there's sort of a, a weird, I don't wanna say it's, um, there's a variance. So there's a variance that in order for this poem to be true, the candle has to be given to you as a gift. Um, I, <clears throat> I've heard it both ways. So um, personally, um, I'm just gonna go, I just go off if I buy it myself and I burn it uh, to the socket there. So uh, let me know if you guys uh, do that at all. Uh, if it's a new tradition you guys have done um, over the years or, or whatnot there. Um, so, I don't know if I'm going to have more content before Christmas, so if I don't marry Christmas, um, I will certainly have uh, post-Christmas content, most likely from SAS, from Bath & Body Works, and Yankee, maybe Yankee, um, but we'll see. I, I, I have a bunch of year review videos I, I just want to wrap up and just do, and then January 1st, we're hitting the ground running harder with spring, SAS, all that kind of fun stuff there. So, all right, so thank you for watching. Merry Christmas if this is my last video before Christmas. I hope it's not. I hope I'm going to get one more in at least. So. All right, guys, so let me know below in the comments. Um, comment, like, subscribe. Let me know what's going on. So have a good one. Thanks.